The band's out in full force all over West Central Ohio. We're at Memorial Field and Crestview getting the scoring started. Brody Breck with a 12-yard touchdown run to put the Knights on the board first 7-0. After a Spencerville touchdown following this, Crestview would retaliate. This time it's Logan Gerardo with the touchdown. Now it's Crestview up 17, 14 rather, to seven. But Spencerville whipping out the big plays. Dale Smith on the end around. Gets a block and stays in bounds. Nice job staying in bounds right there at the midline. And he is going to take it all the way for the touchdown. Spencerville would rattle off 28 unanswered points in this one. 35 to 14 is the final from Spencerville. Again, we'll have this one for you tonight at 11 o'clock. Aaron Matthews caught up with Spencerville head coach Chris Summers after the victory. Spencerville Bearcats, a 35-14 win over the Crestview Knights. Talk about your ball club's performance. Yeah, it's gritty. You know, you gotta, you gotta be really gritty against them. I, I think once we found out that we were gonna play them, you know, we respect them so much. I respect their coaching staff. I know our players respect their players, and I respect their players. You know, you know what type of game you're gonna get, and it was exactly that. You know, um, so really proud of our guys because they, they, they were able. Uh, to beat a, a, a really good team. Tonight. Dale Smith was our Stolly Insurance Hustle Award yeah. winner. He had that 73-yard touchdown yeah. run. You run that that counter with yeah. him down the sideline. That was the backbreaker. From that point on, your team, you know, outscores Crestview 28 nothing. And here's a stat for you that's extremely unofficial, Chris. First downs in the second half. Your ball club had 14. You held Crestview to two. Oh, I tell you, man. You know, that's a that's a credit to those guys up front. You know, that's a credit to the defensive coaches, and then. You know, just, just putting some good game plans together and a credit to our defensive line. Uh, they're good. They're good. They are big and physical. Um, uh, and, you know, 33s, it's nice of a players you're going to find. And um, so we, we, we can be pretty proud of that. Well, now it's on to next week. What's yeah. normally week 10 is now week two. You got to mm -hmm. get ready for Jefferson yeah. and this welcome to 2020 yeah. league schedule that you guys have. I absolutely love it. But uh, obviously, the rival Jeff Cats, you know, they're going to give you everything, including the kitchen sink. You know, man, for us, it was win or lose today. We're just glad to be back doing what we love to do. We're going to just get back to the grind tomorrow and support our JVs and, and just be excited to be here. You know, I'm doing what I love to do. Our players are doing what they love to do and playing. So, you know, this is fun right now. And, um, you know, we got a big week in front of us, and Jefferson's a good team. And, you know, we need to just focus on us and get better because we got a lot of things we can fix. But, I'm just glad to be back. We're glad to be back and, and coaching and playing again. Spencerville 1-0, 35-14 live here on WOSN.